add, edit, or delete a part, simply right click on any part and select add, edit, or delete. I'm going to show you how to add a part. Let's start with a short title for the part. Let's say it's an ECU. Then we select an eBay category. ECU would fall into electrical components. After that we need to write a long title that will be used for eBay. But you want to use all the keywords possible that people will search for. So in this case we have ECU, CDI, ECM, computer, brain. Next we want to write out the price search words. These words are used to generate the price at right list. You want to use words that describe the part and you want to take away words that might fall into that same category. Um, so in this case we're going to search for ECU or a CDI or a ECM, but we don't want to find any rectifiers or ECU harnesses. After that we select a min price and a max price. These prices are the prices that uh, you would expect a ECU to fall between. To write a price formula we can use variables such as average, min, max, and even a variable called n, which is the number of listings currently active on eBay. You can use any of these variables by themselves or combine them to write an equation such as if the number of active listings is less than three, use the largest price on eBay, otherwise use the average price. Next we'll fill in the weight, an ECU weighs two pounds, it will fit in a box that's 10 inches by 7 by 2 and then we want to set the default condition. In this case we're going to use excellent part. If it was a fairing you would use excellent fairing and so forth. Next we'll choose a group. Uh, ECUs are both uh, ATV, cruisers and sport bike parts. Then we set the domestic shipping settings. For this case we'll use a $9 flat rate as we will ship it in a flat rate envelope. Uh, for international we can choose a calculated rate which will also use a flat rate envelope. Finally we want to add a picture of the part so we click on that black box. In this case I'm going to use a picture that I saved of an ECU. It's got to be 64 pixels by 64 pixels and we save that and that adds that picture onto that part. And that's it. The part is created and we can see it in the parts page under E.